why did it just arrive? Well, okay. So I just started to unbox the, bo the box and we just decided, why don't we do, do an unboxing video, right? Okay. So I'm going to show Angelus. I just purchased this and she just thought I was crazy again. <laughs> I know. But when I told her, I told her one time, there's a company called Astrophysics. And if you want a telescope from them, it takes 10 year waiting list before they even make it. Okay. So I found sure. this on the used market. And uh, so I started opening it and then we just decided, okay, hold on, let's do a video. So let me show what Angelus what a astrophysics is. Now this guy's I think a little older. 2004, 2005, I think, is my guess. It's small. Holy cow. I've had like four inch refractors that look like this size. Maybe and how many look, inches is this one? 5.1 inch. Okay, maybe because the length. Let's take a look at the list. Bring bring the camera closer. Yeah. Looks a little bit of clean. There's a little bit of dust, but I guess I could do that. Now, it comes like that, and then I think it goes like this. It's small. I see. So this is a. Okay. Okay, there is one problem I can see right now. Well, not a problem, but like the Takahashi, how am I supposed to view without yeah. having that adapter? You don't have the... Can you do it without that adapter? Can you work uh, the one that you have? I don't think so, because it looks like it's threaded in. Okay, then... Okay guys, so I'm gonna contact the guy I bought it off and see if he has then the adapter to go from the back so I can put a two inch diagonal on. So as is, there's no way to use it. And um, so I'll, I'll do that, I guess. And then maybe I'll give it a first light or test it and see how it performs. So I should maybe also it is much smaller than my Mead one. As you, as you guys can okay, see. so you know what? Compared to the Mead one, um, actually, I'm going to put them on the bed. Let's take a look. The Mead just looks much bigger and thicker, even though they're the same size. Okay. Oh, it looks heavier, too. Okay, so this is the size of the... Um, the Mead, 130 millimeter, F7. So I believe this one is F6. Um, F6, that's, yeah. So that's the difference, F6 and F7. So it would be interesting. So once I get a couple of adapters, put my uh, diagonal on, it would be interesting to see, can an F6 triplet compete to an F7 triplet, even though this is not as good quality? I wonder, because it's it's harder to make it shorter, so will the color correction be good? Anyway, that's it, guys. That's my unboxing of the Astrophysics Starfire EDF. And uh, that's what it looks like. It's pretty small, so I guess as far as portability... Actually, I want to weigh it and see how much it weighs. So just pause for a second. Okay. Okay, so we're going to weigh this. Of course, it's without the rings, the diagonal. It's uh, about 15 and a half pounds. So I'm assuming with the rings in the, the, rings in the bar, the diagonal, it's probably going to be about 17, 18 pounds. Okay, cheers. This is Joe Jaguar. And that's an unboxing of a astrophys astrophysics. Let me ask the camera girl. What do you think, babe? Nice, baby. You think so? Well, I mean, tell the truth. Does it look like that's that kind of money? Mm, well, you say that it takes 10 years, no, to get one. And as you say, it's like a kind of the Rolls Royce of telescopes, like a, like a Takahashi is the, 
The one of the vets? Okay, let's see. Yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, yeah, it's not in perfect condition. You can see it's been well, uh, well, it's been well used, I guess, which is good. So obviously the person or persons before actually used it. It wasn't just a trophy for home, right? So that's good. And if it's well used, means it's, they, they really enjoy the quality. But I would like to test it too and see. But um, that's it. Cheers. Joe Jaguar, like, comment, subscribe, and see you next time.